In the previous videos, we've seen how enabling control painting can really help us control where we lay down seams along our model and even control the density of our UV space. What I'd like to talk about quickly in this video is saving and loading those different control maps. The first thing that you need to do is turn on your enable control painting. Now you notice if I press the protect button, all that painting that I did in this session is still saved to the model. But if I want to permanently save this out so that I can load it later, I'm going to click protect and turn that off. I have enable control painting set. And you see down here at the bottom we have a save control map. I'm going to click that button right there. And this is going to save all the control data that we have set to our model. I recommend saving that map with the actual ZTL. So for instance, if I click Enable Control Painting and click Density, you can see that I also had a density map painted to this model that was saved out as well. So if I needed to load in a specific density or protective attractive seam map, I could simply click Load Control Map down here. And that'll load in the control map. You also see this option here, which is Clear Map. So if I press clear map and then turn on protective, you notice that that red and blue region has now been removed from the model as well as, as, well as the density area. So pretty self-explanatory. Save map, load map, and clear map. 